okay uh, you would require matlab and the good thing is that uh, utsa has bought a university wide license to matlab so you do not need to buy matlab uh, if you go if you follow these instructions you can download matlab it takes about 8 gigs of space that might be constrained uh, i found it to be fastest to download it uh, on school network because the download speed is really good uh, we'll be using lego mindstorms and this is something which i'll provide you uh, the department has provided us lego mindstorms so you will program uh, robots or build robots and program using lego mindstorm what i'm trying to do differently this time is lego comes with its own software which is based on the national instruments lab view but i'm trying to make people program using matlab this time so we'll see how that goes uh, and i'll provide you with the kit <coughs> these are reference books uh, if you want you can you can uh, buy them but i don't really want you to buy anything for this course uh, again skip oh, this is this is left over i need to get rid of this uh, I, i assume so some of you um, might ask the question how much matlab do you need to know well the answer is none i'll teach you everything from i'll start from scratch okay uh, so don't worry about that i provide you with code and so on i'm expecting that you come with an open mind and sort of try to uh, learn matlab uh, uh, as we go through the course don't take buy a book on matlab introduction to matlab and start learning it because that's not the most effective way of learning any new software just want to learn on the go uh, these are things i'll be covering don't have to worry about it too much i'll we'll do it uh, for time um, let's go to the next page Okay, so uh, in, uh, information about me, class hours. Uh, we use we'll be using Blackboard uh, for posting. I'll use Blackboard to post our lecture notes. Um, homework is going to be a big part of your grade. Uh, it'll be due on Tuesday before the class, and uh, I'll be using this software called GradeScope. You can submit uh, your homeworks online. You don't have to turn them here. Uh, I'll basically grade it online, and so you'll be able to view your grades. Uh, online you don't have to provide anything I'll, I'll provide you more information about this some of you have no know, uh, know about grade scope uh, that's how i used to send your grades but you can also submit your uh, homeworks or exams through grade scope that will be clear once we start with the first homework uh, your homeworks will have a programming part to it which will be matlab and there's a there's an extra i mean there's credit for that too and this is something which I should probably ask you to submit it via email to me. I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, specifically, the homework will have instructions. Submit this by through GradeScope, uh, GradeScope, or submit it by email. So that'll make it clear. Uh, that really depends on the question. Uh, the change which I made to the course was initially. Uh, previously, I used to have a, a student-defined project. So you decide a project and you work on the project. and this time i changed it what i did was i in, instead of that i have two projects which i will assign and everybody is doing going to do the same project uh and then you, you know you can be a little bit more creative when you do the project the first one is uh, and this is something which i'm trying the first time you can actually make a video game using matlab so that will be the first project uh the second project will be uh, it'll be based on lego mindstorm uh, we're trying to uh, let me show you the first one i actually programmed uh actually did the first project myself to see how easy hard it was and so the project is we run this where where is the run button if you click in the text and then it pops up oh there it is so So it's basically a single player pong, and I just made a very basic version of it. Uh, but this is something you can make with MATLAB. So I lost. Uh, this is just something which I did, but you will. Uh, what I'll make you do is pretty much make you uh, make it a little bit more fancier. This is just uh, this is just one a simple version. So I will basically provide you with uh, uh, startup code, and so it's not like you'll be. looking at a blank screen and and writing a code you will write the code yourself but i'll give you how to how to do this I'll, i'll we'll actually do a lot of animations in this course so you will you'll see that making animations is not hard in matlab okay uh 
different programming environment, Python and so on. If you want to do it, then you're on your own. You have to uh, learn Python. I'm just trying to provide, use MATLAB for this course so that uh, you can use the same thing for Lego Mindstorm. So that's first project. The second project is going to be, uh, and for that I need uh, Chrome. Okay, so there was something called DARPA Robotics Challenge. And this was a competition for one, two million dollars uh, in 2015, where uh, you had the teams had to make a robot which would. This was simulating a nuclear disaster site, and uh, the goal was to make a robot which would do a bunch of things like drive a vehicle, so human, human eyes robot, drive uh, open bars and so on, a bunch of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Lego, a mobile version of it. So you'll have to do a bunch of things like drive the car, get through a door and so on. So you, so there'll be specifications and how you go about doing it is up to you, but there'll be a time constraint. So it's hope that this is going to be fun more than anything else. Uh, I will provide you more instructions as we go on, but uh, this will be uh, something which I think more than just fun, it's something which you can the both projects and hoping that you can just put them in your resume and you can use that to sell yourself when you go for a for your job interviews okay so let's get back to the syllabus uh, there's one final exam and it is going to be the uh, the final exam is going to be in the last week of classes if if there's a consensus you want it during exam week which is going to be the May. So I'm thinking of having the exam in the first week of May, which is the last week of classes. But if you want it during the second or third week, which is the actual time when the exam is scheduled, which is May 13, we can do it that time. But it's going to be a take home exam. You have access to your notes, everything. It's going to have two parts to it. It's going to have a part where you write and submit it through grade scope. And then there's a programming part where you have to write program. Okay. And so we should be done with the project before the final exam. So you can focus on the final exam. This is the grading. Okay, so uh, a, a big chunk of your credit is actually doing the homework and doing the programming homework. Uh, the project is, uh, you can either do it individually or groups of two. Uh, the labs, again, you can do it individually or groups of two. I have ample, uh, I have 24 Lego mind sum sets, so I, I'm pretty sure I can, uh, if you want to do it, there are 30 students, so I can't, if everybody wants to do a project by themselves, then yeah, I can't do that. But uh, I'm hoping that some of you would have groups of two, and so we can give you have enough ample Lego mind storms to give give out to you. And the final exam is 30%. Okay, and then 